Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a video on how to unclog the needles on this K-Supreme. So if your coffee maker, if your Keurig coffee maker is not working, sometimes you'll press a brew and nothing, no water comes out. You may think, oh, the machine is completely broke on the inside. All it could be is your needles are clogged. So this K-Supreme has five needles up at the top and one needle at the bottom. I'm going to show you how to do the bottom one first, and then we'll do the top one. But again, if your machine is not working, you're, you're pressing the brew button and nothing's coming out, it may be just a simple clean the needles out. Okay, let's do the bottom one first. We're going to, have to, we're going to get this brew, this uh, basket out that holds the cake up. And the easiest way to do that is to poke from the bottom. We can poke on. It sticks down to the bottom. There's no needle down the bottom. The only needle is in here at the top. So don't stick your finger down here. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to poke from the bottom and kind of pinch these sides because there's these little ears. So here we've got the basket. There's the needle down there. Again, when I was poking from the bottom, there's no needle here. Now this basket comes apart. And the easiest way I found is just to kind of grab it and just kind of, kind of like break it apart. It's going to snap. There's these two little ears that come off. Now there's the needle, that is not, you know, there's the bottom of the needle, the needle's right there. So get yourself a paper clip and stick it from the bottom. You can see, it's not gonna come all the way out, but you can see the needle. It's easy, and then you're gonna take this to the sink, clean this out really well. This is a good idea to clean this anyway. You do get some kind of um, coffee grinds and stuff in here from time to time. So wash this out with soap and water really well. Run a bunch of water through this while you're while you have the paper clip, and you're kind of cleaning out the the coffee grounds. So that's how you do that. And then to put this back together, there's there's two little ears. Actually, there's four, but and there's two ears on this side. So line those up with those little holes, and it'll snap. And then it doesn't kind of turn and it's, it's on there pretty good. Now the way that you install this, so you're going to see the words caution, sharp needles. Those face you. And there's these two ears here. So you're going to put it in like this. And then you just kind of like snap it in. And make sure it's nice and flush. The words are towards you and you can read them. And then it's flush. There's the bottom needle is all clean. Now we're going to concentrate on the top one. So unfortunately the top one you're not able to take apart, but it has holes. Now the holes aren't readily apparent. You've got this like neoprene um, washer that's kind of covering the holes up a little bit, but there's a hole here and it goes this way. It goes sideways. There's no holes going like in the bottom of this. These holes are going sideways. And the same with this needle. This needle, the hole doesn't go straight through. It kind of comes at an angle. It goes here, and then it goes there. There's three holes in this big needle. Be careful. This is the sharpest of them. So again, get your paper clip. We'll do the big needle first. And you got to come at an angle. Might have to bend it a little bit. There. See how I'm at an angle? I'm not going straight. If I try to go straight, it doesn't go on. And then if I come here at an angle... Here to go the other way. I can go to that, that there. See, there's that back one. Okay, there's the big ones cleaned out. You can go up in it a little bit. That will clean out the tube. There might be, but don't go super far. If that is just a plastic tube. You could poke a hole in it. So now let's do these four. These are special to this Supreme. It's called the multi stream. So they go at an angle. And again, you might have to push that washer, that. Uh, seal back but see how there's cleaning that needle like there it's hard to go that way any like you want to go up into it but you can't and same with this one they did position these to where you can get to all of them pretty easy and then we'll do this one this one's the hardest one to me okay there now you might get some crud, you know, you can rinse this off, but we're going to do a fresh water rinse with the Keurig. That'll force some, you may have to do it. You may have to do this a couple times. You may have to poke these holes. 
and then we're going to close the lid. So we're going to close the lid and then we're going to do a couple fresh water rinses. We're just going to do, we're going to pick eight ounce and hit the K button and just fresh water will rinse through there. So again, I say I've got my knees and these things can get pretty dirty, you know, especially this area. You can get some a lot of coffee grounds and stuff in here. So you definitely want to keep up on this and using a, uh, the Keurig sells a rinse pod. Those work really well too, but they don't necessarily get in there and clean the needle like you should. So say you've got the needle clean, you're just going to close it, make sure there's no cake up, hit the eight ounce and just run some fresh water through there. And you may have to do this a couple times, like I was saying, uh, and be careful. Those needles can be hot after you do a fresh water rinse. That area can be kind of hot and you may see a bunch of gunk come out here, but you should have a pretty nice stream coming out. So if you got any questions on how I clean the needles, uh, leave them in the comments down below. I also did a detailed review on your D-scale. This has a D-scale mode, how to D-scale your um, Keurig machine. I'm going to do a comparison with the K-Elite over here. And I did a detailed review on this machine, so check out those videos. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.